drive home from the post office so y'all see kind of where I live. This is a little town of Victor. Look, we even have a museum. Look at our little museum. Ain't it cute? It's so cute. I have not taken Z into there yet because it is closed because of COVID-19 still. Um, although our numbers here are practically nothing. Um, the governor has not allowed many things to reopen just yet when it comes to museums and things like that. Now, our museum in Hamilton is open, um, obviously with limited hours, but Victor here, we're so tiny, our town is so tiny um, that, you know, some places, they have the right to decide when they're going to reopen. So... show y'all this little tiny school here in just a second. Alright, coming up here on the left is these little tiny school. Look how little it is. Do you see how little it is? Look how little. It's so little. Here's his little playground. Alright, so so here's just a little tidbit about Z school in Florida. When we lived in Florida, y'all see how the weather is. Y'all saw the, the um, over eight inches of snow in the schoolyard in Florida. Uh, no way in heck would the children be allowed to go out and play in that. So last night, our little man, we had dinner. Um, and we were watching TV. I was actually watching YouTube. I was on Prepping 101's live. And I was also watching um, Hickory Croft Farm at the same time. Which was very challenging watching two lives at the same time. But I was multitasking. And quite well, I might say. Anyhow, um, so it was about 7 o'clock at night. And the hubs gave Z his dessert, and poor little man passed out on the couch and had not even taken one bite of his um, dessert, which was Sour Patch ice cream with a little piece of chocolate cake, y'all. And that's like his favorite dessert. And for him not to even take a bite out of it. And when I say he was passed out, look, our son does not usually fall asleep. He has insomnia like me. And usually it takes three bedtime stories. And then he still kind of moves around and has a hard time falling asleep. And he usually doesn't fall asleep on a good night until about 930. On a bad night, midnight sometimes. Anyway, and so for him to have passed out on the couch under daddy's blanket at 7 p.m. without one bite of his dessert says a lot. So normally when he passes out like that, it's because he's not feeling well. All right, we're getting ready to start going up the mountain. Um, and you'll, you'll see more and more snow as we go up anyway and um so this morning on our way to take Z to school and then I had to drop I had to drop hubby off at work because his truck's in the shop I think he has a cracked manifold we're not 100% sure um, but anyway I digress I asked Z in the truck I said son because he's like dad I woke up on the couch this morning you all let me sleep on the couch and I said, well, yeah, son, you passed out at 7 p.m. You didn't even eat one bite of your dessert. Were you feeling okay? Or were you not feeling well? He's like, no, I fell asleep. I said, yeah. I said, usually you only fall asleep like that when you're not feeling well. I said, what did you do during recess yesterday at school? He's like, oh, we got to go outside and play in the snow. I'm like, oh, well, that did it. Him playing out in that snow. I mean, if it's just a couple inches, it doesn't wear them out because it's just a couple inches. But he had to wear his snow pants, his snow jacket, 
gloves and his snow boots, and his snow boots aren't exactly light for his for his size. And that snow is pretty much almost all the way to the tip of his boot. And so that's equivalent to playing in beach sand on the beach. You work in every muscle in your body. Um, and of course they have rules, you know, like you're not allowed to throw snowballs. Um, but anything else you can pretty much do. You can sit in the snow, you can play in it, you can you can build a snowman, whatever. Anyway, and so he he wore his butt out, basically. Wore his butt out. I'm kind of hoping that the same thing happens. Alright, so I don't know if you guys can see the haze in front of us right now. There's a haze. And I won't know if you guys can see it until I get to the cabin. I can review this video. That haze is snowfall. So we're fixing to hit some snowflakes. Now, it was not supposed to snow today, people. It was supposed to be partly cloudy and 18 degrees. As of last night at 9 p.m., that's what the weather forecast said. This is nothing close to what the forecast said. This is how quick our weather up here in the mountains can change. So, we should have a whole separate forecast for those of us that live on the base of a mountain because it's nothing like what it is down in town. So, we may be seeing some snowflakes hitting my windshield here in a moment. I am going 30 miles per hour. Um, right now, I have my truck in drive. But here in a minute, I'm going to have to stop and switch my gear to probably third gear. And then right when I get to my road, I'm going to have to switch it either to second gear. More likely first gear because I have a hard time um getting to the cabin on our road because of the snow and how slick it is especially around the one corner all right you see that now you can see the haze that's snow and here we go snowflakes are very very tiny the sun is rising and so that's why you got those different colors that are reflecting off the snowy haze we call this angel dust snow because it's not like normal snowflakes. It's almost like driving into a dust storm, almost. But it's not windy at all. And there's the little snowflakes. I don't know if you guys can, look how pretty that is. See, so this is my drive. Oh, you guys are in for a treat. There's a deer crossing the road. Let me slow down because I don't want to scare it. Oh, nope, it ran. Darn, I didn't slow down quick enough. He's over here in the field. I can see him. I don't know if you guys can see him because, um, let's see if I can zoom in. You see him? There he is. It's our neighbor's yard. Pretty. Anyway, I digress. I digress. Um, yeah, we've got some snowflakes going on. Alright, I'm getting to the point where I'm going to have to switch my gears to third gear. So, I can't do it while I'm moving, so I'm going to have to stop for a minute and switch over. So what's nice about living out in the mountain, up in the mountain, is you can stop in the middle of the road. It's not a big deal because... Um, there, so you guys can see better. It's not a big deal because... Uh, There's no one behind you more times than not. All right, so you guys saw that my cover photo on my, if you're on my Facebook, you see my photo cover photo. And also my YouTube cover photo is right, is this scene right here coming up on this corner. I'm kind of trying to wait for a better clear day to get a picture of this corner again. But this is, this is where I take my pictures for my cover photos, is right here. Right here. Isn't this pretty? Look how pretty that is. That is where I take my cover photos. 
Um, and that actually would be pretty. But I have to come back down to pick to go grocery shopping here in a couple hours after I do my mail call video. And so when I do that, hopefully those clouds will lift just a little bit more. And I'm going to change my cover photo today, crossing all fingers and toes. Alabama Farm Life, girl, one day, one of these years, you're going to have to fly up to Montana, get you a out-of-state temporary hunter's license. I know it is it's, it's expensive, but I think it'd be worth it. And you need to come visit Hubby and I and Z. Come stay in our cabin. You can stay in the executive suite upstairs in the loft. It has its own bathroom attached to the bedroom. It has a gorgeous view outside the loft window. All right, y'all, this cabin up here on the hill, um, it's going to be hard to see it, so I'm going to have to zoom in and then bring the camera over here for y'all to see. You see that cabin on the hill right up there? All right, so there's a joke between me and my husband about that cabin. Zoom in, you see it? Look how gorgeous that cabin is. Man, I wish I lived in that cabin. I'm not envying, I'm just saying. If I won the lottery, I would so live there. Anyway, um, there's a joke. I call it Kelly Clarkson's house. Now it's not, but when I'm in the, in the car with my husband, like for the first several months that we lived here, I would say, everyone wave to Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm silly that sometimes. I don't make no sense. Anyway, um, back to Alabama farm, or Alabama farm life. You need to come up here for a vacation during the hunting season when it first starts. That way you're not stuck in all this snow and you don't get snowed in. And um, you need to come to our property and go hunting with the hubby. Now, I won't be going hunting with y'all. But my husband and um, his buddy that he works with currently um, are going to be going hunting next year for the first time and you need to come you need to come stay with us and go hunting um, and, and you'll get to choose what kind of hunting you want to do do you want to do a buck or do you want to do elk and get yourself a nice a nice elk so um, we have both that kind of travel through our property and then there's other places you can go hunting too but, um, but yes, we have 30 acres and you can definitely hunt on our property. So that's an open invite, honey. Come on up here and come for a visit. Take yourself a little vacation. Anyway, all right, so we're coming up on my road. And um, this morning, oh, and they're still here. This morning we got to watch elk cross, literally cross the road into this pasture. Now they come out of those trees that you see up there. Um, you're not gonna be able to see them very well, probably, because they look close up to where I'm at, but then, you know, when I try to film it, they just look like they're so far away. All right, you see those little brown dots right there? Come over here. Let me roll down my window so you don't get all the dirt. Let me see if I can zoom in. See them? That's just a couple of them. You can see a lot of them are up are up in the trees. They're getting ready to go back up in the trees because it's getting is getting to be that time of day. Um, but yeah, they have been out in our pastures. And this is our neighbor pasture. They have been out in our pastures. I gotta shift to the first gear so I can get down the, our road. Every day this week, every day this week, they have been out in our pastures. All right, so this is the base of our mountain. And um, I'm gonna move this over this way more. And you can actually see our barnyard, our barnyard, our barn from this road coming up. And when I get to that point, I'll stop the truck and zoom in so you can see where our barn is 
Oh, there it is, right there. All right, I need to get past these trees. So you can see it really pretty. It's so pretty. I never realized you could see our barn from the road until um, yesterday morning. Or, yes, or last night, I mean. All right, let me see if I can zoom in. And there's our barn. That is our barn in front of our cabin. And that is the mountain. That's our mountain that we live at the bottom of, the very base. So, there you go. All right, I got the phone put back where it needs to be. All right, so here's the rest of the drive. This video is really long. I'm sorry, I try to keep my videos less than 15 minutes, so if you don't watch all the way through, I understand. Although I do hear that that hurts your, that hurts your, um, your analytics when people do that. But I'm not trying to, I'm not going to monetize. If for some miracle, which I can't even fathom, I would ever make a thousand subscribers, um, I'm not going to monetize. That's not my goal for my channel, to be honest with you. There's a lot of rules, and, and I don't want to have to be under that kind of pressure. But yes, this is my view, you guys. This is my view. It is just crazy. And you see how much more snow we have up here than what they had down in town. And this curve coming up, I hate this curve. Even when there's not snow on the ground, even if we have just like a really good, decent rain, um, you will slide your truck off that curve and in the ditch. Of course, you can't see the ditches right now because <laughs> they're literally full with snow, but there is a ditch. <laughs> that can do some damage to your to your vehicle. All right, here we go. Now this was my husband's idea. He's like, you really need to just do a video of your drive back to our cabin from taking Zayden to school when when it's a decent day. I'm like, nobody wants to see that. He's like, you would be surprised. So, um, so here you go. This is our this is um, our main road. Now, this road, um, if you watch our waterfall tour video, you'll see the rest of this road, at least up to our other cabin that my father-in-law owns, and we have a tenant that's been living there for years. Who's getting ready to get married, by the way, in March. So, very excited for him about that, which means I will have a neighbor about my age to hang with Maybe I'll make friend number two. Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, this is um, this is the road going into our long driveway. And if you watch the waterfall tour, you guys have seen this part. Of course, there wasn't near as much snow as there is now. Whew. All right, here we go. This is tricky. So this is another reason why I got it in first gear because getting through here is you can't even see our cattle guards right now you can hear them when you cross them but you can't see them because they're just they're, it's full of snow underneath the cattle guard and all the way through up the cattle guards I didn't see any deer on our on our pastures this morning on either side of me this is our driveway and all the, either side is both our pastures and then we have pastures behind our cabin and then we have pastures to this other side around the barn which aren't as big because um, it runs right into our neighbors pastures and we're hitting another cattle guard that you cannot see oh, we got to trim some trees that keeps hitting the truck and I can't really move over anymore to avoid it and that's it we're home Hope you guys enjoyed your little ride to our little abode, our little cabin in the woods. And um, I hope you have a great day and we'll see you a little later on. Bye guys.